Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be the uh, continuation. We're going to continue working on the uh, what I'm referring to as the crash but not dead 69 Camaro Z28. As you remember in the previous video, I I kind of focused on the overall damage of the car. And in this video, we're going to be doing the initial disassembly of it so that we can get the car ready to put on the lift and we can remove uh, the, the suspension and the interior and so on. But the first thing we have to do is get all of the uh, damaged body panels off the car. And as you can see here, we started with the door, which we literally had to just cut off the car because the damage was so severe. It just was smashed to the point where we couldn't unbolt it uh, like you normally would um, and I'm showing drywall and old wood here from from what I think the car hit the corner of a house believe it or not because we found old house wood and drywall embedded in the in the damage so uh, if anyone is familiar with this car maybe they know what happened to it but Anyway, as the rest of the panels that we're removing here, um, you know, I insisted that we unbolt everything rather than cut it off, which is what the normal reaction would be is to cut all the panels off. But and in this case, we're removing the hood, which we're going to uh, repair because that's the original cow hood to the car. It's got the correct date code on it and so then we just continue taking parts and pieces off here and uh, like I mentioned before you know I insisted that everything be unbolted properly so that uh, we don't do any more damage to some of the parts and pieces that uh, we can save and here I'm removing the front bumper which was undamaged the grill was undamaged the lower valance was undamaged and uh, the header panel is damaged so that's probably going to be replaced and the passenger side fender is undamaged but it's got rust in it so we're going to replace both front fenders on the car so it's kind of a long tedious process but but we're trying to get like i'd mentioned the whole front end of the car apart so that we can get the car up on the lift and remove the subframe in the front subframe and engine and then the uh the rear end and then we can get the car down to the point where we can start doing the body work on it and once we got all of these panels off you know the car looked a lot better i mean it, it's it looks a lot you can see that the wheelbase itself is really not that far off um, the subframe is, for all that I can see so far anyway, the subframe is undamaged. It just got moved over a little bit. And so hopefully it's straight, That you know, but we're going to check that, of course. So at this point, uh, getting the front driver's side fender off, again, was quite a task. I mean, we worked for a good hour trying to get the thing loose from the rest of the damage. And uh, again, I did not want to cut it off the car. I just wanted to unbolt everything properly. So now the car is ready. Uh, we've got all the front end and panels and door and all that off the car. And, and again, it's in my opinion, it's looking a lot better. It, you know, the damage looks a lot worse than it really is. It is all fixable as bad as it is. But now the car is ready to move over to the to the lift. And you can see all the damaged parts and pieces here. So in this scene, I'm removing the 
heater box from the firewall. Uh, I just wanted to reveal all of the uh, hidden VIN numbers on the car. And the VIN, the hidden VIN that was under the ta cowl is, is okay, but it wasn't stamped very well. About half of it's missing. But here under the heater box, it's, uh, it had a really good stamp and it's very clear. And here I'm holding the VIN tag up to compare the numbers. So now we've moved the car over to the lift now and it's ready to remove the subframe in the rear end and then uh, then we'll pull the interior out and then start doing all the body work. So, so that's going to be uh, on the next video. And uh, in the meantime, this is the end of this video. And again, as usual, thank you so much for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe, and push the bell for future video notifications. And uh, so you can keep track of this restoration. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Today we're going to continue on, uh, on part three of the uh, crashed but not dead Garnet Red 69 Camaro Z28 that was had a pretty catastrophic crash as you can see in the previous videos and this video is going to be going over the damage assessment now that we've got the car taken apart and as you can see uh, the floorboard and the rocker panel and the firewall the tulips on each side of the firewall and everything are all pretty well wasted. Uh, the, the whole back of the car from the quarter panels back is pretty much intact as well as the top is in pretty good shape. And I've had a lot of comments about different ways of doing this and I'm having a couple of uh, expert body guys uh, looking at the car and so on and more than likely we're going to pull this section out and then uh, replace the floorboards the firewall the dash um, the tulips on both sides the and the um, the rocker panel and so on so um, anyway the the floorboard had some rust in it, as you can see there it, it uh, pretty much you know got got torn and uh, but anyway like I said uh, we're gonna have some more um, people look at it and I will keep you up to date on the uh, assessment that we finally uh, decide to do but right now we're just going to um, probably move forward with uh, removing all those damaged portions and then welding in spot welding in uh, you know all the new pieces and we've replaced pieces with OEM as well as some of the AMD parts that uh, you know we would not be able to to get OEM so here's the new floorboard and the firewall and the dash laying here next to the car and then we have a whole bunch of other parts and boxes that we haven't even opened up yet so Again, this is just an assessment video to, to assess the, uh, the overall damage of the car now that we've gotten it apart. And previously I said that the subframe is probably okay, but actually we found out the subframe is bent and we will be replacing the subframe as well. So there's been a lot of confusion about this car. And some people have have said that uh, it's the same car as the blue car or the blue car is same as the red and so there is a lot of confusion so just to clear that up here is my blue car that I have a whole set of videos on this is my Le Mans blue Z28 that I've got 13 videos on the restoration of this car and as you can see there are two separate cars People have accused me of, of uh, making one car out of both or, you know, whatever. So just to be fair, I want to clear that confusion up. 
and I'm not sure if it's YouTube that is uh, mixing the videos up, but as you can see, there is a blue car and a red car there in the background. So I hope that this clears up any of the confusion. And, uh, you know, if you continue to have any more questions, just leave those in the comments and uh, I'll answer them as accurately as I can. So anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to update everybody. And again, uh, this is a view of the blue car and the red car as I close out. So uh, there will be more videos on this red restoration as well as the blue car. So uh, we will see you on the next video. Thank you.